baby, your man blew it up. The audience ate it up. I got more laughs than I ever had. You know, I was talking to my manager and she, uh, what's, what's wrong? Nothing. I'm glad you had a good night. You sure nothing's wrong? The rent is behind again this month. Don't you care? We've already lost the house and now. Bernice, what do you want me to do? Work some corporate job that I hate? I did it for 15 years and we were still broke. We're broke because you never stayed on any job long enough to get a decent raise or benefits. My paycheck supported this family. Why waste time going nowhere when I'm investing something better? Instead of keeping up with the Joneses. I was trying to keep food on the table. That's what I was trying to do. I spent the last 15 years working my ass off while you were out chasing the stupid dream. Oh, so it's stupid. What happened to you, baby? Pursue your dreams. I got your back 100%. That was 20 years ago, and I'm done. Baby, am I supposed to just work some job to make everybody else happy? For your family, yes. Don't you think I have dreams too? Like the house we just lost? I put my family first. I sacrificed for our kids. And I didn't? You felt caged. Making me and the kids feel guilty about needing anything from you. I wanted to give you guys everything I never had, plus some. That's why I pursued my dream. All we wanted was you. Just you, George. And don't act like being a comic was for us. All those weeks when you were on the road with hardly any money coming in, I got tired, and so did the kids. <sighs> they have their own lives now. What do we have? I'm here by myself while you're traveling all over the country trying to be, I don't know what. Baby, have faith in me. Big things are about to happen. I spoke to my manager. George, you're 50 years old. It's too late. It's too late when I'm dead. I just don't want to leave this world knowing that I quit. What about me? What do you mean? Of course you don't know. Because everything has always been about you. Whatever George wants. Sorry, kids. We can't go to Disneyland this year. I have my comedy tour. No new computer. I have to put it towards my travel. It's always been about you. The kids are grown, and I'm going to go out and get a life because I've had enough of living yours. Baby, listen, come on. You don't want to throw away 25 years of marriage. I'm not throwing anything away. While you were out chasing your dream, I built a family. Wonderful kids that I'm so proud of. When was the last time you called them, George? Divorce? You really want to do this, baby? There's nothing else left for me here, George. I'm sorry. Hello? Hey, Greta. Yeah, it was a good show. Who? He did. Jimmy Fallon? What? Are you serious? Oh, man, that's awesome. Yes, that's a dream come true. Hey, hey ho hold on, Greta. Hey, baby. <laughs> I made it. I'm going on the Jimmy Fallon show. I heard. That's great. I'm happy for you. you you coming with me, right? George, it's too late. Baby, wait. This is what we've always wanted. Our dreams are coming true. Your dreams, George, not mine.
Hey Greta. Yes, I'm I'm here. Nothing's wrong. This is what I've always wanted. 